Rackash bodyguard. Never heard of anybody so pathetic he'd take that kind of contract. You're either really desperate or a serious piece of shit. You know, your dog there isn't exactly well trained. Thinks he owns the place. Why would you let scum like that fuck up your business? Me didn't say nothing. That's what dogs are like, and you should know. When they meet another one, they gotta sniff each other's butts and growl. Just whack them on and they'll learn their place. Seeing as you feel like growling, you can stand guard here while we go somewhere warm. You'll pay for this, you son of a bitch! I'll get you someday! Oh shit, what the... Oh shit, shit! I can't believe it! Help! Fuck! A bunch of... Help! Rackash bodyguard. Never heard of anybody so pathetic he'd take that kind of contract. You're either really desperate, or a serious piece of shit! At least I'm still clear, fucking traitor. Traitor? Who the hell do you think you are calling me a... Oh, shit! Your dog off his leash there, Sticks? Come on, boys. Let's teach this bastard a lesson. Shove his teeth down his throat. <laughs> shit. Shit. Help! Alert! It's the blood saw! Quick! Hyenas. They looked like starving hyenas. Yeah, well, carrying feeders. Good riddance. To 
Today, my brothers will be happy. The trainer died like the dog he was. His cursed soul will float in the wind for a long time. I would be honored to call you brother from now on. Your victory brings me great relief. For a long time now, I've been seeking an heir to whom I can give the memory of my clan. I am the last. When I am gone, the turquoise dawn will be but a memory. Do you accept the gift, and are you ready to do your utmost to perpetuate the tribe when I am gone? I accept the gift. On you, Arkai, son of Marlock and Isya, I confer the mark of the turquoise dawn. I hereby grant you the memory of the brothers and sisters of the tribe. May their spirits forever find voice in your deeds and in your words. Bear this mark as you would a shield. May it protect you from your enemies and carry the whispers of Mother Earth deep within your soul. I will do my utmost to be worthy of it. Anything else? I've never been so happy to see you. What the fuck are you doing here? What shit are you in this time? I was supposed to take a green giant across, like your friend there, uh, but it went wrong and I ended up with the Inquisitors after me. already just about dead, Ark. He would never have survived the journey. You did what you could. So, can we go now? Well then, Comfy. The cage is a bit narrow, I'm afraid. Even for one of your kind, you're pretty big. <laughs> hey, just tell yourself in four days it'll be over. You'll be able to stretch your legs and start your new career. Oh, 
Hawkeye! Silence, imbeciles! Without me, you'd be dead. Now calm down and disperse. That's it. So, how about that? I'm pretty good, huh? Ha! Don't make that face. It'll get stuck like that. I kicked your ass for you. All part of the service. One death to a customer. Die now, avoid the rush. Unless you're counting on my generosity to let you have a few last words, Gorkash. Garok hates humans, sir. Fucking Quasan. Garok won't kill all. Then find man with dogs to revenge family. The man with the dogs is dead, Garok. We found him near the wall and killed him. Man. Champion to revenge Garok. Garok, give life for champion. Champion, say what Garok do, and Garok do with full heart and strength. What clan are you talking about? I am the last of the Turquoise Dawn. All my brothers were slain by the Quasan. Well, well. The last time I met the last survivor of the Turquoise Dawn, it was at the Wall, and he seemed a lot older. And the gift? Huh? What do you mean, the gift? The symbol of the Turquoise Dawn, the one I possess, passed on by an orc three times your age, who wanted to ensure the memory of his clan would survive. The one that all warriors of the tribe bear. How can you not know that, Survivor? Resistance. Died on your feet, as an orc. Listen, we're short on time. Hey, I can do it if you got scruples. What's your name, traitor? Dakath, son of Badath and Daisha, of the scum of the North clan. And you die for the mire, Dakath of the scum of the North, to save your people and free your brethren? Look at me! So... I closed my eyes and hoped the next time I opened them I would see the sky. Our sky. That's not going to happen, traitor. Fine. One good deed. We done? Yeah, back to the hideout. 
Excellent! That was like sexy, Ark. You got a gift with colors. Seriously. Hey, you wouldn't have a younger sister, would you? No beard preference. Shut the fuck up. Ha! <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Come on! Don't flatter yourself, buddy. What an image. Ugh. Ugh, just throw up a little. So, can I pee here? Hmm. I'll take the water. Whatever. Let's get the hell out of here. We're done. I might have found our eagle. You found a good strategist? Who? The Shaman is a worthy ally. I trust him completely. All right, son. I'll explain what's expected of him. We're ready. It's time to launch the assault. Yes, I think we're ready. No regrets? No, we have to go now. There's no more time to lose. Very good. We're going near the drawbridge, and we'll wait for your signal. Good luck, son. Hmm. Thank you. So be it. Farewell, brother. Good luck. Good luck to us all. Well, we got through it, though. But wait till you see at what cost. Art was good as their leader, but seriously, the rebels couldn't hang on forever. See Saranth. Come with me. Come. Fill the emptiness in your soul. so deep I completely forgot it. It was too hard to accept, too hard to live with. Everything I've done since is just to survive. But that's over. I have to accept what I am, live with it, instead of survive without it. All this power, it'd be pretty stupid to just walk away from it, right? Fine. 
Know what? Okay. I admit I've got some vague memories that might be, you know, what you said. But I trust myself. If I did what I did, I had my reasons. You gotta know how to stop living in the past sometimes, you know? Keep moving forward. I'm not the kind of guy who has regrets. But try to explain that to a fucking ghost. You're just a part of my mind that died. I buried you so long ago I forgot all about you. So thanks, but there's no emptiness in my soul these days. I filled it in. I replaced you. So, now, be a good little ghost and get the fuck away from me. I got no room for you now. Kill your berserker self and you make him more powerful. Don't touch him and you become the master. Think about it, because it's going to make a big difference. Don't get blinded with rain. Yourself and you make him more powerful. Don't touch him and you become the master. Think about it, because it's going to make a big difference. Don't get blinded with rain. We need to get the fuck out of here before more of them come. Whatever you want to do, you can't do it without a plan. And right now, the best fucking plan is get out of here! Can't stick around. Let's go! And there you go. That was the job. Despite the unforeseen, the plan worked like a charm. Gotta say, what was gonna stop thousands of orcs who'd been promised blue sky? With Ark's dad leading them, best not get in their way. When they charged, it was like an earthquake. You couldn't even have heard yourself scream. At the same time, Attic and the Mages set fire to the tower, both creating confusion and sending out a message to the entire Empire and the Inquisition. Something like, everything has a price, or live by the sword, die by the sword. Anyway, you get the idea. Something orcish. The moral of the story? 
I should have kicked myself in the ass for even thinking about taking the damn job for fuck's sake. But I've been saying that from the start. <laughs>